Hello and welcome everyone to this next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's demo video, we will talk about how to create calculation views in HANA Web IDE with HANA Access Advanced Model. As you all know that HANA Studio has been made as a deprecated tool in 2017. And since then, all the new features and things are coming with respect to HANA Access A, Access Advanced Programming Model, and as part of SAP Web IDE for HANA. So you can now use SAP HANA as a service on SAP Cloud Platform and also create the calculation views on top of your data models as part of Web IDE in the cloud. So in this session, we will see how to create calculation views. As you also know that with HANA Access Advanced, the concept of attribute and analytic view is also deprecated. Hence, we will not be able to create any more attribute and analytic views. However, we'll see today's session how to create a calculation view. So let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll switch it over to my HANA box. This is where I have my Web IDE already running. And I have now this new container concept where I have all my data tables and data models already created. So I've created a variety of master and transaction table for this exercise today. For detailed training on Access Advanced, feel free to subscribe that on anubautrainings.com. How to create data models, data tables, how to use containers, how to use HDI deployer to create new type of objects, including all the different variety of objects in HANA Access Advanced. Complete Access A training is available on anubautrainings.com. So let's move on now. We'll create our uh, calculation view. So I would like to create a calculation view for product data. So let me click on create a new and we have an option to create a calculation view. Let's name it as CV underscore products. And we can create it as a dimension because we are using most of the master data. Click on create. And now we are going to get this beautiful graphical editor right into the web browser. And this is our new editor. We should not use any more the HANA Studio for creating these views. We should use Access Advanced Architecture to do that. Now, if I expand this, you can see that there are different uh, variety of options. In the HANA Studio, we have very limited number of options, but with Access Advanced, we have more options to include as part of our views. For example, you can calculate ranks uh, of the data. For example, if we'd like to create what are my top 10 customers we have given in terms of number of orders who have given me, or number of amount of orders who have given me. I would like to do the ranking of the data system will we'll be able to do that for us. Now, maybe I'll just go ahead and pick it up a joint type here. I drag and drop and I will be using my tables as product and business partner table. So I'll open my data Explorer, Data Source Explorer, and here is where I will search for the database table. So I'll select product. I can see that over here. Finish. And next table, which I will add, is a business partner table. So how do we create these tables? How do we create containers? How do we include data? All of this from scratch, you can learn as part of our XSA training more in detail. We have all the demo data available for you, which you can import and create your Access Advanced project from scratch and try out these exercises. So now I'll just choose business partners. I'll just say partner. And let's create the join. So now we just double click on the node and we will get an option to include the joints on the right hand side. So you can see both of our tables are being visible. And of course, we will connect the relationship is based on the product ID. So for one product ID, there is precisely one supplier. So let's go ahead and connect that. So it's the supplier ID connecting with the partner ID of the supplier table. And now we can mark here the relationship between them as a cardinality. So as we have at the moment, one-to-one -one relationship between them. 
Now we can also rename the node if you want, but before we do that, let's quickly perform the mapping. What are all the columns we would like to expose out? So I would like to expose product ID, type code, category, uh, price of the product, currency, and maybe I would like to expose the partner role, company name, partner ID, and yeah, address ID. So let's map them out. Awesome. And now we can just give a more meaningful name for this node as maybe uh, supplier and product relationship. We can always do that. Let's come on the left, double click on the node. We can right click and rename. Okay. So next what I will do is I will go ahead and add another table which contains the product texts. So let's add another join. And from here, the relationship goes supplies to this join. Rename this node, say product text. double click and now we will include the table for text product text it's got text table select an ad and of course my product ID is going to match with the okay I forgot to include my description ID column from my product uh, view from the previous join, so we can just add that as well. So this is the name ID and description ID, and we can just map that as well. So right away, this field will be now available for us in the about join. There you go. So I will connect my description GUID or description ID with the text ID, and this is going to be a special join with one to one as a text join because I have a text data. And of course, we will have now the language field, which we will choose. And based on the logon language, user will be able to see the text now in the corresponding language for products. Let's add our next join. And now we are going to join with the business partner data. Let's connect the output of the previous join to the input of the next join. Rename this to address supplier address data and we will include here and also of course from the previous step we have to map all the columns which we need so I will pick up all the columns from my previous view excluding the description and name and then some text property for the description and let's go back to the bow layer, add the next table for supplier address. And that's my address table. Let's connect the address and the supplier. So we have this address ID, you can always click on the center button to zoom it out. And then we can just connect this with the address ID. It's a one-to-one -one address. So let's change the relationship type to one-to-one. -one. Done. And finally, we will connect this result to the output projection. Of course, in every step, we have to have a mapping field exposing the properties. So we'll pick up all the properties from here. And also the address fields for the supplier. Very few fields. We will pick it up. Nice. And now maybe we can just come out of this mapping mode and just centralize our main calculation view code. So you can see here, our main calculation view code looks like this. 
So we have back-to-back -back nodes supplying data to next to each other. Just drag it little down. To understand it better. Okay, superb. Let's go to semantics finally and see what are all the properties finally being exposed. Nothing. Of course, I have to expose from the projection all the columns which I really want it in the output. We expose all the columns. And we can save this view. And of course, uh, you will not have an activation option here like your classical HANA Studio. Rather, we have an option to do build. So when we build at that point of time, what HANA does is it's going to produce uh, an equivalent runtime object, which is going to be a, a column view. You can build the whole DB module or you can build just a single file. That's a complete new concept of HDI and containers. So you can see my build is success. Let's go to my HDI container now, which I've already added in my database explorer. You can go to the column view. And now we have got here CV products created for us. Wow. Let's look at the open data. And we should be able to see all the data over here. Let's check it out in the raw data form. Awesome. That's my data coming out of calculation view in Web IDE from HANA. Fantastic. Now I would like to probably do a little bit of analytics over here to know which is the, um, the supplier supplying me most of the products. So I can go to analysis and we can just drag here the supplier name, which is company name and the total of price. And wow, you can see now this is the supplier, uh, Tessie Cesa DIR supplier is supplying me the maximum number of products in terms of price. And the second one is JetEcho. Maybe I can also change the chart type. It's a kind of a similar features what we have in HANA Studio over here in the web ID as well to, to, to perform these, this analysis. Maybe I would like to also um, download this data in an Excel. I can do that. I can download this chart or Excel sheet. All of these capabilities are offered here. I would like to probably see in which currency I'm having the maximum price. I can also get that. So you can see in this case, Euro is dominating my currencies in terms of product price and the total amount is 47,963. So all these sorts of data and information you can always uh, always project over here on the, on the web IDE and this is how we can actually test. Now together with that system will also create hierarchies. So you can see it has created a default hierarchy which has all the node information, the child leave information. So if you would like to also consume this, you can use it out of the box. So this hierarchy data is created automatically uh, for every property accordingly. Now we can also define hierarchies. We can perform currency conversions. We can uh, perform a lot more than what we used to do it in the past in HANA Studio. We have options to integrate uh, a table function. We have options to add um, a HANA uh, visualization charts or we can add uh, the tree structure. We can add define hierarchies. Everything we can do it. We can also do non equi joins. We can do, uh, do, uh, do minus. Uh, all of these is possible with, with the help of new HANA builder. You can add integrate to graphs, aggregate data, rank data. All of this we will cover more in details as part of HANA Access A training. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe on anuboottrainings.com. With that, it's a wrap on today's session. See you in the next video and goodbye.